Hello guys, welcome back to TechDoz and in this video we will see the problem of finding all nodes present at distance k in a binary tree. So this is from lead code number 863 and uh, we will see all the follow up problems once we are done discussing this entire solution. So stay tuned till the end. I would like to announce about our DSA live training program which will guarantee understanding of every programming concept. It makes you interview ready in just 3 months. And it will maximize your offers so that you get the best possible pay and in the best possible company you can. All the sessions will be live interactive sessions so you will get the feel of a live class and you can ask all your doubts throughout the class. In order to get more details please whatsapp us on this given number. Let us now look at the problem statement. In this problem given the root of the binary tree so the first node is the root node. The value of the target node in this case the yellow one is the target node and an integer k return an array of the values of all the nodes that have a distance k from the target node. You can return the answer in any order. So in this case you are given the root node and you are given the target node and you are given a value k. Let's say if k is equals to 1 then they are asking about what are all the nodes which are at k hops that means k number of hop distance from the given target node. So if the hop distance is 1 then you will see it is 3, 6 and 2. So in this case the answer can be 3, 6, 2 in any order. Now if I increase the value of k to let's say 2 then it will be the neighbor's neighbor. So the answer in this case will be 1 and then you have 4, you have 7 uh, but you do not have any neighbor of 6. So the answer will be 1, 4, 7 in any order. So I hope you understood the problem statement. The constraints in this problem are also very important. So you should go through them. It says that you have nodes in the range of 1 to 500 and all the node values are unique. Now let us look at the problem in more detail. So I have exactly taken the same diagram and uh, by the look of it you must have understood that it is a directed edge. So in a tree you always have all the edges as directed. So this is the structure node definition. In this case you have an integer value and uh, the constraints mentioned that all the node values were unique. So you can make use of it as well. And uh, it also declared you have a left pointer and a right pointer. So if a node only has left pointer and right pointer they will definitely be directed. So you will always have directed edges for a tree. So let's say in this example if this is the target node in yellow then if the k value is equals to 1 we want to find all the nodes at distance 1 from this 5 which is the target node. We can easily get this 6 and 2 using the left and right pointers but there is no way that we can reach to this 3 right because we do not have any pointer moving from 5 to 3 that is a problem. You may say that uh, 3 is the root node but then the question can be changed and maybe 2 will be the target and so you will never be able to reach to 5. So this is the main problem for this entire question. Now if we can maintain some kind of child parent relationship in such a way that every child will have a pointer pointing to the parent node. If we can have this kind of a structure then definitely I will be able to move given any node I can move in any of the direction all the three directions right. That is one way to solve this problem. Otherwise another way can be if I can maintain who is the child pointer and for each of the child pointer who is the parent. If I can maintain this relationship in some data structure where if you give the child pointer let's say I give 2 then the value of it should give you the node which is the parent of 2. Now you must have known by now that this data structure can be a map data structure so we can take an unordered map for faster operations. So let's see that. I have again taken the same example and if you build a map having the child to parent relationship you can do that by using DFS which is by recursion or by using BFS which is the level order traversal on a tree. If you want to see my videos on DFS and BFS it will be linked in the description below you can go there and watch otherwise if you already know it uh, then you can use DFS I have used it in the code DFS and uh, you can actually make all the child to parent relationship right. So you can just keep moving and you can maintain the caller like if I say that if I my current node is 5 my caller was 3 then 5's parent will be 3 simply and using that 
you can build this entire map child to parent map right now once we are done with this given a node we can move in any possible direction right so this was our first goal the most important goal which has been achieved but the next question is how to find all the nodes at distance k so whenever you have a question of finding all the nodes at distance k or moving in all possible directions with equal amount of distance or equal number of hops whatever it may be it is always a bfs problem breadth first search let's imagine that you have a pond somewhere and then you are throwing a stone just from top of it you will see that it will form ripples and the ripples will travel in all the directions with equal speed right so whenever you get a problem where you have a starting point or you have a target node somewhere and from that node you are moving in all possible directions but with equal velocity or equal speed then all those problems will be bfs problem you can watch my video on bfs for more details on the same topic so once we understood that this is a bfs problem and uh, we have also made the child to parent map which will help us perform bfs starting from any node in the problem you are already given the root node and the target node and with the value k so now the question becomes very very simple we have again taken the same example and uh, the node value here is 5 which is the target node right and then we have a hop distance of let's say 2 we have already built the child to parent map so that is there now simply we need to perform bfs so let me show you a dry run of how you will perform bfs use a queue for level order traversal or for bfs insert the first node where you will be starting so in this case you will be starting at the target node right now find the size of the queue and repeat the level order traversal for those many items in this case the size of the queue is only one so at level one you will have only five nodes you can also name it level zero or level one whatever you like so you pop this item and you use the map and see who is the parent of five you will see that for three the parent is null because three is actually the root node okay so for five how to query that you give five uh, in the in the maps key and you will get the value as three right so you can insert here three always remember that since all the nodes are unique you can use integer type of key and uh, you should use the reference that is node star type of parent you should take care of that don't use integer on both sides otherwise even if you get three you don't know which node you are referring to right so keep this in mind and if the values can be duplicate then you cannot take integer even on the keys but you have to take a node star type because two different nodes having the same integer value occupying different space will be having different references simply right so do keep this in mind but just to save on space if you have unique values then use integer in the key part okay so we will be making use of that property in the constraint once you have inserted five you you insert the left and the right pointers if they exist so yes the left pointer exists so we will insert six the right pointer exists and we will insert two and we are done with all the level zero nodes so now we will go for level 1 right and you find the size of level 1 you have size as 3 so try to process each node one by one now we will take out this 3 okay we will take out this 3 and uh, we will see who is the parent of 3 so we do not have any parent of 3 so so no parent will get inserted we will see who is the left child of 3 now we need to maintain a visited array which will say who are all the nodes which have already been visited i hope you can do that so you can use a map for that as well or you can use an array so i would go with a map simply so five is already visited so that cannot be inserted one is not visited so one will get inserted right now after this you need to process the next node which is six for six you do the same thing who is the parent of six five but five is already visited okay now the left child of six is not present as well as right child is not present so nothing needs to be inserted next node to be processed is two so for two who is the parent just look at the map it is five but five was already visited right it will be marked in the visited array so we cannot insert five let's see the uh, left pointer it is seven it is not visited definitely we will insert it four is not visited we will insert it and we are done with level one as well 
So since k value is 2, we need to process only two levels. So in this case, we did for level 0 and level 1. And whatever nodes are left in the queue, those all nodes will be present at k hops. In this case, k equals to 2 hops. So since the answer doesn't require any ordering, you can simply return 174 in any order possible. So this will be your answer. So this entire process involved creating a map to move from child to parent and then the second thing was understanding that the problem is a BFS problem and the third thing was just applying the BFS algorithm. Now the time complexity will be order of n since we are processing each node only once using the visited array we are not visiting the same node again. And uh, simple follow up problems on this given problem can be what if the edges were undirected and what if you have cycles. So when the edges are undirected it will not be a tree it will simply be a graph which is not a tree and uh, you may even have cycles then so how do you solve then so this becomes a typical graph problem of using bfs visited array the, the the techniques will all be same so you can just go ahead and think about it so let us now look at the code for this problem this is the code of finding all the nodes at distance k you are given the root reference and the target reference with an integer value of k we will simply be doing a pre-order traversal in order to make the child to parent map. So this has been declared as a global variable. So when I call pre-order, I will be in making the map, which was step number one. After that, I will be taking the queue for doing BFS. And this is the visited array I was talking about. You can take visited array, you can take a map or you can take a set as well. So I have taken an unordered set. Whatever nodes gets visited, I will just push them in the set. Simple. Now from here on onwards you just apply the simple BFS algorithm which is nothing but the level order traversal and after this whatever is left in your queue you just remove one item after another and just push it into the answer list and you just return the list. This entire process takes order of n time or you can say order of v plus e time where v is the number of vertices and e is the number of edges but uh, in a tree you will have edges of the order of v minus 1 so definitely you can say that it will be order of v time uh, and uh, i'll say that n is the number of vertices so order of n so this is all about this problem if you want the pdf of this entire video solution you can follow us on telegram link for it will be in the description below you can follow us on instagram to be updated with the recent interview trends i hope this video was helpful see you guys in the next video thank you